Are you ready? I'm ready. It will kill. Forged in Fire continues to be our favorite show to get some real action. Today, we are back with another video where fantasy becomes reality. A compilation of Forged in Fire moments where video game weapons turn real. So without any further ado, let's get started. Number one, Rooster Head French Pioneer Sword. The 19th century French Rooster Head Pioneer Sword is an amazing weapon. First on the list of unreal swords that have come to life. The rooster's head design at the end is one of the coolest things I have seen. Deadly, I'm gonna take your weapons and deliver some lethal cuts and slashes on this goat carcass. All right, Steven, let's talk about your sword here. It's Steven's word killed it. Next up is Kay. You ready? Yes, sir. Your handle construction fits perfectly in my hand. It'll keel. Welcome to the strength test, the log chop. Nice job on the castings. They're nicely done. Good job. Thanks. All right, Cade, you're up next. You ready? Yes, sir. Good job. This is the sharpest test. Then I'll test the edge by cutting the watermelon and a sugar cane bundle. Let's do it. Your edge is sharp. No issues cutting on the watermelon. It'll cut. Thank you. All right, Cade, your turn. You ready? Yes, sir. Cade's sword cut smoothly through the scarecrow. These teeth are sharp. I think we all know who the winner will be. Cuts to the watermelon and cuts the rest of the sugar cane bundles. The new Forged and Fire champion is Kate, congratulations. You are the Forged and Fire champion. How do you feel right now? Cockle diddle doo. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, the Jumanji Yari. The Japanese originated Jumanji Yari used in the game Shadow Fight 2 has to be next on our list. Like, goddamn, look at that double edged spear. This is some anime shit becoming real. The Yari, with its long handle and multi pronged spear, makes it a trifecta. Quad, you're up first, you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Every bladesmith's worst nightmare, your shaft has broken. Let's talk about your Yari here. Then it hit the spine. The transference of energy hit a weak spot into your handle over here. I would consider your blade a kill. Thank you. Fuad. Your weapon suffered a catastrophic failure. Your Yari still must perform in this kill test. Let's see what happens. Next up is Jacob's Yari. <sighs> Instead of being able to cut cleanly with this part to cut through, this got in the way with the angle that it had. The thrust is really devastating and very deep into that. Your weapon will kill. Thank you, sir. Jacob, you are the Forged and Fire champion and will be receiving a check for 10. All right, we saw that coming. The Chinkwadea. Chinkwadea gained popularity among civilian noblemen. Although the Chinkwadea lost its popularity after the 16th century. Today it was used for civilian dress, but it served one purpose, to kill. Ready? Yes, sir. On the other edge, it cut the spine in half. Your weapon? We'll kill. Neil, you ready? Ready. Let's do this. The edges are sharp enough to lacerate the spine all the way through. We'll kill. Up next is the sharpness test. We will test both of the edges of your blades by delivering a strike across these ratchet straps. Danny, you're first. You ready? Yes, sir. This weight distribution basically pulls the blade away and deliver a slice that cuts through all these ratchets. Your turn. You ready? Ready. The dimensions of your handle really fit my hand. Your blade will cut. Good job.
Next up is the strength test. To test the strength of your weapon, I'm going to chop into this ice block. Dan, you're up. Are you ready? Yes, sir. OK. Now the other side. Well, I don't see any chipping or warping, so the edge held up very nicely. I did a good job. Nice and done. So, Neil, your turn. You ready? Now the other side. It's not balanced badly because you've got really thick tang on there. I see no damage. Nicely done. Thank you. Neil, congratulations. You are the Forged and Fire champion. Congratulations. You are the Forged and Fire champion. And Number three, Spike Shield. Here's to all Spike our Skyrim fans. In, prehistoric times. in this episode, Targe of the Blooded, the Spike Shield from the to game, it was Spike brought to reality. The Forge Oftentimes, Shield works just like Skyrim. how it did in the game. I'm going to fire three bolts from a crossbow to test each of your shields. Ilya, you're up. You ready? Yes, I am. Small impact there, here, and right there. Nothing that would have been threatened the, the man behind this shield. So that's very well done. Michael, you're up. And though there are some cosmetic issues with your shield, so well done. Thank you. With your shield, I will take four hits on this ballistics dummy that's wearing chainmail. Ilya, you're up. The killing blows right here, where it penetrated all Holy the way. Shit. That's to the Why sternum and into the lung. That goes now. <laughs> all the way uh -uh. into Mike's shield this ballistic it to dummy. The we'll kill. Mike, it's your turn. You ready? All right. God. Your spike definitely penetrated on both punctures. Your shield will kill. Thank you. Blade Spitz, this is a sharpness test. You're up. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Three, two, one, engaging. I don't see any problems or any deformations on your spike. Good job. Mike, you're up. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. I do not see any damage to your spike. Good job, sir. Thank you. Ilya, you are the Forged and Fire champion. Mike, your shield did not make the cut. Please surrender your shield. Ilya. Congratulations, you are the Forged and Fire champion and will be receiving a check for $10,000. The Lanch Neck Sword. Posing blades featured parrying lugs above the guard to deflect enemy attacks. Earning. Today you can see the Lanch Neck Sword in the hit mobile strategy game Dominations. I will take your sword and deliver slashes, thrust, and chops on this wild boar carcass. Todd, you're up first. You ready? <laughs> It's comfortable to hold on to. You have a very thick and wide and stout edge. Despite its weight, it will kill. Yes. All right, DJ, it's your turn. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> the tip you have over here is wide. The first thrust went in. The second one couldn't, and I tried. All right. To test the overall construction of your blade, I'll be both stabbing and chopping into the steel plate. All right, Todd, you're up first. Are you ready? It held up. Nice and done. All right, DJ, you ready for this? Yeah. And this weapon is heavy. You've got a really, really super stout edge. And honestly, it held up quite well. Still solid. It's a strong blade. Thank you. I'll be cutting through this cane. Todd, you're up. You ready? Yes. OK. Sharp sword, made good cuts. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. All right, DJ. You ready? Ooh. 
on the first cut, as soon as I hit the dull part, it just starts pushing stuff over. It's just not sharp enough to cut. But there can only be one Forged and Fire champion. And that champion is Todd. Congratulations. You are the new Forged and Fire champion. The regret is I should have spent more time on the edge. I did my best. Todd, congratulations. You are the new Forged and Fire champion. And that is a title that comes with a check. Please present your blade to the judges. I'm a little surprised. You know, it's still like a surreal kind of thing. I feel so good, I don't know how to feel. The wind and fire wheel. This weapon, the wind and fire wheels, were multifunctional tools utilized in martial arts dating back over 500 years. Those trained in the use of the weapon were highly specialized, needing precise movements to execute blocking, thrusting, and slashing maneuvers, and have been popularized in the video game Dynasty Warriors. Rebel, you're first. You ready? More than ready. All right. I like the construction here. It's unique. Yet, once you get going, your wind and fire will kill. Your turn. You ready? I'm ready. First up, problem here is you lost the blade. Next up, the strength test. Those points are wicked. They are nice and sharp and strong. I think your construction technique is brilliant. Nicely done. Thank you. You ready? Yep. So, Chuck, we lost another one. So, Chuck, the bottom line is, with this kind of damage, I can't safely continue to test these. For that reason, I have to ask you to please leave the forge. Congratulations, you are a new Forged and Fire champion, and that's a title that comes with a check for $10,000. Good job, brother. Number five, Shiavona Sword. Last but not the least is our weapon that all Assassin's Creed players are here for today. It's the famous Shiavona Sword used by the knight in the game. The one issue I have about your handle right here, it did cause some issues by rubbing against the thumb right there. Jeff, you ready? Let's do this. A little bit on the inside of your basket hilt right there, it did dig in into his knuckles. It will kill. To test your Shibona's basket and blade, I'm gonna punch into these terracotta pots and then chop into these birch logs. Brad, you're up first, you ready? My Shivona is definitely ready. There is a tiny little deformation right there. It's pretty narrow. All right, Jeff, you're up. You ready? Let's do this. A Little bit on the heavy side, but not too much in general. And in total, it held up very well. Nice job. Thank you. Now, lastly, let's see who makes it past the sharpness test. Rope, releasing the sandbag, then cut the bag. Ready? Ready. This blade has a beautiful edge, a fine cutter. Jeff, you ready? Let's get it on. It didn't slice all the way through the bag, but it cuts very cleanly. Nicely done. Thank you. Jeff, congratulations. You are our newest Forged and Fire champion. And that was that rolled edge you took in the strength test. And that's why we've got to send you home. Jeff, you are the new Forged and Fire champion and will be receiving a check for $10,000. Aha, this ended well. I will forever be amazed by the bladesmiths who forge these video game weapons. It's insane. So this was all for today's video. Hope you liked it and comment down below to let us know what is your favorite weapon from the Forged in Fire. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more such videos. See you guys in the next video.